Yo guys, what is going on? Welcome back. If you're new here, then welcome. And today we have got the first player review of FIFA 20. Now, apologies for the lack of content recently, guys. I've been a little bit busy. I've just about made enough time to make sure I'm still playing Weekend League, as you can see with the reward cards there. Um, but yeah, guys, that's the progression of the team. Um, the last time you saw it, it might not have looked this good, but uh, that's the team I've been using for the last... Uh, two weekend leagues now and it's a team that i'm really enjoying uh playing with and there are a couple of guys in here that i really want to get reviews for you guys so middle roy Keane. i know his primes an icon swap but that video is going to come later uh bernard will be coming soon as well but for now it's gary medell that i want to give you guys a review of so i bought gary medell as a replacement for blaze matweedy for me matweedy lacked um, an offensive skill set he was a little bit too defensive and because i've got alan and keen in the team already i wanted someone who's a little bit more balanced so i bought gary medell um as you can see i paid way too much for him i bought him when he first got released um but anyway guys i think he's around 37 to 38k on the market at the moment which isn't too expensive at all so he's five foot seven medium high work rates which are great for a center mid or a cdm uh, right footed, four star weak foot, fantastic. Three star skill moves, good enough for sure, for a for a centre mid or a CDM. Um, when you look at his in game stats, so first off, if you look at his face card stats, he um, he actually looks pretty good. So he's a little bit slow. His dribbling's not great, but he's got 80 to, 82 defending, 86 physical, 80 short pass, uh, 80 shot, sorry, and 85 passing. All really well rounded, really good in my opinion. But when you look at the in-games, he really excels. So his pace is a little bit low, 68 acceleration, 71 sprint speed. Not the best, but with a shadow, easily good enough. His shooting's immaculate. So he's got 8, 98 attack positioning, 99 shot power, 99 long shots, 98 volleys, 98 penalties. Outside the box, he's going to be lethal. He does have 52 finishing, which is a bit of a concern, but um, we'll be able to see in-game if he gets into the box a lot and if he does, how his shooting is. But it's just something to be aware of. His passing... He has low crossing, low free kick accuracy and low curve. But if you look at his vision, short passing and long passing, I mean, he's got 90, 99 short pass, 85 vision and 87 long passing. The three most important passing stats for me. And he's absolutely insane. Uh, if you move into the dribbling, it's a little bit weird because he's got really good agility and balance, great reactions, great composure, composure. Uh, but his ball control and dribbling are a little bit low, so we'll see how that affects him in game. Whether he uh, feels sluggish, whether he feels like he's got a heavy touch, it'll be interesting to find out. And um, his defending stats again really well balanced: 84 interceptions, 88 stand tackling, 78 defensive awareness, 80 stand tackling, uh, uh, slide tackling. Sorry, with a shadow on, easily good enough again. Uh, he's got 83 jumping, 84 stam, 83 aggression. Uh, 83 strength, sorry, and 91 aggression. Again, really well-rounded. 84 stamina might be a little bit low for a box-to-box, -box, which is how I'm, I am going to utilise him. Um, but it's definitely good enough. He'll definitely last 90 minutes. Whether he'll go the distance in uh, in a weekend league game, I don't know. But uh, for this game, for this uh, episode, we will have a look at his um, how his stamina fares in, in Rivals, because that is what we will be playing. Um... Anyway, guys, so as you can see, I've already played quite a few games with him. I've played two weekend leagues now with him, and he's got seven goals and eight assists, which from centre mid, I mean, it's it's okay. It's not amazing, but uh, it's good enough, definitely, because he does play box-to-box. -box. Um, just a quick look at the in-games then, guys, so you can see exactly how we're going to use him. So I will be using mostly a 4-1-2-1-2, in which he'll be playing as a left centre mid. Um, I would normally play him as the right centre mid, but Alan only has three star weak foot, so I feel like it's better for Medell, just in case he does need to use that left foot. And his instructions are actually all balanced. Um, it really lets him get up and down the pitch, it doesn't restrict him, and he covers a lot of ground like this. So, um, uh, yeah guys, it'll be uh, interesting to see how he fares in that box-to-box -box role. I might also switch, depending on how the games go into this formation here, the five back, uh, let the full backs get up and down. Medell and Allen hold back a little bit more. I think I have them on stay back in this formation. And then obviously my free forwards roaming. So that'll be better to test his defensive ability. But again, guys, um, two balanced formations, two formations where he will have a lot of freedom. So it will be interesting from my perspective uh, and from your perspective to see how he plays. So what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to play a couple of games. I'm not going to cut any bits out. I'm going to play for the whole game. And 
I'll allow you guys to make your own judgment of his involvement, how he feel, how he seems, and uh, while I'm doing that, I will be talking you through uh, what I think he's doing well, what I don't think he's doing so well. So yeah, guys, that'll be interesting. And wow, <laughs> the first team we come up against is a is an absolutely insane uh, La Liga team. Ryan Giggs in there, storyline Vasquez, <laughs> Ronaldo Dybala, Matuidi. Ramos and Umtiti. This is not going to be an easy game by any means. This really is going to be a struggle. So um, it'll be a good test for Medelli in that midfield Welcome to see how he manages nice them players. Dybala, uh, Dybala, of course, is really good. Giggs will be playing in the midfield. Um, so yeah, let's Alan see how this Smith. goes. The action comes from the rivals competition. Um, Two proper teams here, Alan. Yeah, a real buzz around this ground. Full house. A lot of interest me. in Jesus it. Christ. Hope it doesn't disappoint. Good interception. Intercepted here. So this is how the hosts line up today. Sergio Ramos plays with Samuel Umtiti as the centre backs. Luka Modric starts. Also, guys, if there's anyone else in the team, in the of the park. Uh, the great man is up front today. Cristiano. That you want Ronaldo. me to do a review of, and that was horrible. But it's okay. We Chance get the ball. At the opposition with pace. Ah, oh, that was a bad shot. It was a great, great passing play there from. Uh, Medell, his touch was a bit bad there. Was a nice little flared pass. And here's Key. Mertens. So this guy's not. He doesn't seem quickly. like he's the best, but he's okay. Uh, it'll be interesting to see how it plays out. He has got a very, very good team in comparison to mine. You might keep so, a special eye out for as today. I said, it will be Smith's interesting. Do that. Oh, I love watching this pair play. They haven't disappointed this season. They've been the most threatening players for me for both their teams. That was an incredible cross from Geeks there. Still a chance in there off the Very lucky. Maybe the counter attack is on here. Allen. Merton. Ah, oh, unlucky. You should have put that away, really. Maybe you should have gone near post, but it is what it is. So close, they need to go, weren't they? To take oh, in the lead. Medell, I know I was controlling him there, but you maybe should have got a leg out to intercept them. Have a look at what's on now from this wide position, not closed down. Dibala, Matuidi. No. Wow, Ronaldo missed that. That's, uh, that's quite surprising, I think. He's expecting to put that one away. But no, not quite now they've got the ball. What are they going to do with it? So you can see how Medell plays in this formation. Just Modric. ahead of Tellers provides a bit more cover. Great Meant interception by well. Keane. I think one thing you'll definitely notice with Medell straight away is the fact that his Needed outlet passing is amazing. So if he picks the ball up deep, he keeper. generally generally will find the forwards and allow you to break quickly. I think that's a really, really vital part of his game, to be honest, and something that I think makes his card really, to really good. Let's oh, cross there. Last Maybe a cross wasn't the best option, the to be the cross left his foot. I think it's the first time I've faced Ryan Giggs in um, FIFA 20. I've, I've faced a few it. icons, but Ryan Giggs isn't a, exactly a fan favourite uh, on this game. Oh, also, let me tell you guys, Sergio Ramos is great. Uh, I'll definitely put out a review on him, but I really do think Sergio Ramos is fantastic. Here. Definitely Alan. better than Longley, who I had before. Yes. Uh, maybe Merton should have took that one away, but we got lucky with the rebound, and I think the pressure's toll there. I think we were playing a lot better. That was a horrible pass, but it all makes it. Yeah. I don't know what that pass was. Pass I think it was more poor on my part than uh, Gary Medell's. Read that well with the Ronaldo is, is such a menace, he's hard to defend against. That's a bad pass. Ronaldo. Cristiano Ronaldo's away here, past his marker. Lucas Vasquez. Good challenge by Alex Tellez, that was incredible. Good outlet pass again. Now it's Usman Not the best pass from Dembele there. We're looking at a well-coached team here. Drilled in, winning the ball back in midfield as a group. 
Yeah, also, guys, 4 1 2 and 2 is a formation I'm having a lot of success with. Um, finished on 22 wins in weekend league this week, which is really good. Um, my best finish at FIFA 20. An improvement because I got gold one. Uh, I think I got 20 wins and I think I went 20 and 9 overall last week. So, a slight improvement. Um, nothing major. Uh, choked the last game to get elite though. And I'm not sure what Tostegan was doing on the floor there. Um, <laughs> I wasn't really expecting to concede there, but Tellers was having a little bit of a jolly. Uh, Tellers, Tostegan. I think it's worth saying that Medell plays the simple passes really well. Uh, the passes you expect him to make are always exactly pinpoint, exactly where you want them. Um, it's nice to know that you can rely on him to find your players at all times. Unlike what Dembele just did there. Uh, wasn't the best, for, I know it was a first time pass, but. Difficult for the defender against the player who wants to take him on like this. Noise me when that happens and the crowd start chanting good interception there from Medell. As you can see, Keane's rushed out, so in this formation now Medell sort of covering that CDM spot. Good chance for us to test his defensive ability and as you saw there, easily got the ball off uh uh the the ball before playing a poor pass. Got him pushed really back, he's playing it along his defensive line. Modric. Always positive and nice to see. Here's Lucas Vasquez. Modric. The first time I've played against the storyline Vasquez as well. I played against uh, Sahara and Talisa. Obviously, everyone's sort of nearing that end of season mark, uh, level 30 mark now. So. Now it's Usman Dembele. Now Dries Mertens. Clever pass from Mertens. Oh, I'm lucky. That's a good play. So Alright guys, um, we're at half time, how do I feel so far, um, I think he's had a good game, a couple of wayward passes more on my part than anything, but defensively he's been solid, he's picked up the ball a few times in, in deep areas, as you will have seen, and um, he's playing really good outlet passes, something that it really doesn't go amiss, it's really really good for, for starting off breaks and catching people out. All right, guys, into the second half now. It's the start now of the second half. Bernard. It's a horrible so pass from Bernard. Pass. Luca Dini. Here's Giggs. Modric. They read the opponent's mind and got the ball. One to chase down. He's gone over the defenders. Can he score? Put them in front. I think near post was a bad idea there from me. Defender did well to get to him. Hasn't really lost the, the header. I was quite surprised by that. Here's Lucas Vasquez. I think that's a good performance, isn't it, Alan, from him in the first half? Well, he stepped forward for his team there with that equaliser. But his team haven't been, what you would say, on the best of form. Good the pass and cut it out. from uh, um City there. Matuidi. Modric. Fibala. That was an ambitious pass he tried to play. Bernard. Allen. Certainly playing well enough to get their noses in front here. Got the tackle Good play in. by him to win the ball back there. Now Good challenge by, uh, from this by Alan. If you guys want to see a player review on Alan, by the way, I'll be happy to do that. I know he's not the most expensive right now, he's about Cristiano 30k, Ronaldo. but uh, definitely someone that I'd be willing to do a review on. And also, guys, if you'd rather not see the full games and you'd rather just the see the highlights the of the player, I can do that in. as well. Uh, I just thought it's a better reflection. It's um, easier for you guys to see how a player influences a game as a whole and not just the little snippets where the ball's near them. You know what movement and positioning is like. It's a lot easier to gauge during well. a bit of full game gameplay. 
We've had an hour gone here. And that was horrible, especially if Dembele is offside, yeah. He's gone too early, he's offside. <sighs> I was hoping the first time pass was to him, but not to be. And they've got a man out wide. Matuidi couldn't keep it. Keen. No, not the best pass. Maybe touched that. by a... Rather sloppy. Dembele, I believe it was. Matuidi. Cristiano Ronaldo. I'll tell you what, I struggled a lot more against well, Messi than I do against uh, Ronaldo. He's through. Oh, bad the decision there. Still trying to play like it's FIFA 20 and uh, like it's possible to score with headers. Samedo's going to get back. No, Great positioning to cover that there. Nine gigs. His ball cut out. Nice Medell. little exchange there with Medell. Bernard. Medell. That's that finishing. Um, should have really took that away, but that's that uh, low finishing. You can expect that to happen a lot unless you're playing against a keeper that's not so good. I think he had Old Black and Gold, who's uh, pretty good on this game. So. That's horrible. Oh, what are you doing to me there, game? The pass has just gone straight through Militao. Right, okay. Let's get back into this game. Ah, uh, that was my fault. Playing around with the ball there. Now he's got the ball back. Aldo. Dybala. Modric. He is playing that. He is playing for that cutback now. You can sort of see it. Didn't didn't really materialise much in the first half, well, but uh, the obviously noticed that it. He will be able to Ryan beat Giggs. me like that. So. Giggs has been pretty good as well, to be honest. I wasn't expecting him to be anything, just because you know he's never been good on FIFA, two star, three star. Got a weird set of stats. Now it's Usman Dembele in behind the defenders. Come on. Yes! Great little bit of play there. Really, really solid play there in the build up. It's a really good goal. Really, really happy with that. I've got to tell you guys, I'm playing with some quite bad delay, and it's like the kind of delay that makes your players feel heavy. Really good interception there. Good feed from Medell. A chance to break away now on the counter. Mertens. Come on. Mertens. Dembele. Oh, he's at the post. Dembele really should be burying that. That's uh, pretty unfortunate. I think he's offside there, yeah. Now it's offside. And it looks that well. They might be in to score. Coming really deep. There's a forward to get on the ball. His teammates really telling him to get up the pitch. I was hoping Merton would, Merton's would do a spin there to get that ball away. Room in which to attack. Lucas Vasquez. Now he can cross it. All right, I, I, <laughs> I imagine Ronaldo's going to be good from this corner. corner. I've not really had any trouble defending corners in this game, so. Merton's with the header win there. What a turn. Bernard! <laughs> Oh, the pace. What a goal. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Bernard. Saucing on them. Saucing on them. What a goal. What a goal. That was a phenomenal finish to end off as well. Um, a really good way to end this game, to be honest. I haven't been playing my best. Um, with a lot of flick, the uh, the pace to get ahead of the defence, all really, really good. Great interception there from Medell. Um, and a good, again, like I said, just a really good outlet passer. You know, when he's in tight spaces, you can rely on him to make the tough passes. Oh, nearly another screamer. <laughs> That's 
ambitious pass. And that's the end of the first game, guys. Um, I'll let you guys pick up your own perception of him. All I'll say is I did notice him making the defensive work. He didn't do too much going forwards. He had one effort, um, which was saved quite easily by All Black in the box. Um, hopefully in the next game, I get more of an opportunity to test out his uh, long shot ability because that is where he's going to excel. But for now, guys... Let's get into the second game once we skip through all these menus. I'm going to try and make it to rank 2 before the end of the day. Um, obviously, get some better rewards for tomorrow. Um, I'm not sure if I'll bring out a video. I might just um, post onto my Instagram or Twitter, which will be linked below. Um, but yeah, guys, we will see. Uh, coming into the second game we've got another really good team Longlet, Varane, Courtois Deli Ali, Son Endombele, Alba Sissoko and uh, Ben Yedo, wow um, Russian and Semedo playing as his CDM so this is an all round a, a really really good team, uh, it's going to be very very difficult to beat, again it's going to be a really good challenge for um, Medel up against Sissoko and Endombele and uh, Dali Ali. Uh, but yeah guys. Let's see how this one goes. Coming up for you. This should be high intensity stuff, Lee. Hi Derek, thank you. Well both managers will be reminding their players how important it is to start off the game really quickly. Really attack the opposition, put them on the back foot, see what comes of that. Hopefully we get a good game. <clears throat> ben Yedder. This is the lineup for the home team. The emphasis very much on the positively. Yeah, very much so. And narrow. I was tell you, I've got a vendetta against Son. He, uh, two main he stopped me from getting Back elite this weekend. Um, I was 22 and seven. I had one game left, well. and it went to extra time. And Bernard put me ahead in the 116th minute, and Son equalised in the 123rd minute in a goal that probably. Was slightly, I think there's only one or two and it's added and um, he, he ended up winning on penalties uh, it's a bad way to lose but almost got through good challenge by Militao no, oh, okay. I'm not sure what the foul was given for there but the foul is what is next and perhaps a goal from this free kick Militao winning, winning the free kick as a header. That was quite a sight. It's not what I was intending to do. I thought he was going to try and make the uh, the run there, uh, but it didn't happen. Bernard with it. Mountains. Oh, lucky. And very deftly cut out. Sion is really, really good. Really hate playing against him, which is when you know uh, someone's a good player. with Aubameyang. At times they make Son is great, by the way, and he's definitely someone that I do want to work into a team eventually. Perhaps when I've got a couple more icons um, in the squad. On the left, wow, not too bad at all. Good effort. Oh, not a free kick. I'm not sure why. Disappointingly, straight into the wall. Tried to be cheeky there. Wrongly, wrongly so. Should have just gone for all. I, I think I've only scored one free kick so far in this game. On this oh, it's a weak shot, then Bailey. The the, this patch where they've nerfed the, the uh, finesse shots is really getting me. I'm still going for these sort of difficult outside the box finesses, knowing that. You know, well, that right now they're just not in a good place. Lovely little link up play there from Adele. Great cross. Oh, well, it's a shame I haven't got to all the forwards, really. It was a really, really good cross. But it was a nice bit of link up play. He made the pass and made the run in behind, and it was it was definitely really solid, to be honest. Again, a great pass there to get Mertens into some space. Ben 
and tremendous defensive intuition from Sergio Ramos. Alan just uh, doing the work, keeping the ball as he always does. Mertens. Keen. Oh, that wasn't the best pass. Tremendous intuition. But he to went win it back, back instantly, which is always nice. Oof. Just a bit too Good high effort. I think effort. the touch that the first touch that he took wasn't great, which is obviously down to the uh, the balance, but maybe we should have done better with the finish. Nelson Semedo has it. Good challenge by Tellers. Ball lost. It's with Alan Bernard. It's a perfect challenge. I don't know if you saw Medell's positioning there, but he was ready for that pass. I just didn't find him. Uh, he was essentially calling for it. But yeah, my mistake. Well, the attacking options appear plentiful. And Lovely. a strong tackle. Sergio Ramos the wall. I know Lenglet's got a lot of hype this year, but I feel like people have overlooked Dembele. Ramos and not really had him in their teams when he's always actually been a really, really good uh, centre-back in this game on top of the situation. for pretty much every fee for now. Dembele. Maybe not as good as he was last year, but definitely still good despite his great rates. An unforced error, you've got to say. What a pass. And it's a quality pass. I should have let him take an extra touch there. Left a bit to be glory. Just got to hit Didn't the target. Let the power down a little bit and go for accuracy. Ben Yedder. Tell us he's got this all there. If it stays on, it doesn't. Surprise over Amiang with his 99 pace. I'm assuming he's a very little ball coming. Ramos doing the work again. And look, Medell's ready, ready to receive that pass and ready to play the ball. Yeah, Semedo's got that. Semedo's incredible, to be honest. I think at this stage, outside of the icon right-backs, he's probably the best right-back in the game. Out of baseball cards, uh, Ricardo Pereira could be up there with him. Ben and for left backs, I think based out base gold cards, Alex Tellez or Andy Robbo is going to be the best one. Now, if you guys Bidell. were considering Tellez, I think you should get him. He, he's incredible. Good uh, tracking back there from Bernard as Medell made a run forward. On the ball. What a goal! The a oh my god, guys, that is that long shot game, that I was talking about. That was uh, the keeper had absolutely no chance there. The little cut back, although his ball control and dribbling is not great, he got it under control with that first touch and absolutely punished him for giving him even just a little bit of space there on the edge of the box. What a goal to put us one nil up! Quick thinking to dispossess his opponents. I really do have a vendetta against Son. It's annoying me that this guy's got him. And I'd be even more annoyed if Son's the person that scores against me. What a pass. Bernard. And again, Bernard. Wow. Oh, Bernard. <laughs> I was trying to find Allen. And I think if I found Allen, he would have had the room to take a touch there. But uh, it fell to Bernard, who, although he has 99 jumping, could have put it away. Anyway, guys. It's the end of the first half. As you can see, Bernard getting us a goal. He's had two shots. Uh, the first one went off target. The second one, no one can argue with. It was a, it was an outstanding, outstanding finish. You can see he's stand there at half time as well. Compared to Alan, he's a little bit lower, but uh, definitely not something to be concerned with. Uh, that's after we've just played a game with him as well. So you think he started on 94 or 95. Um, it's quite impressive. But into the second half we go. Hopefully we have as much as as much success as we did in the first. Mertens. If not more. Bernard with it. Dembele. Oh, horrible by me. Possession one. Oh, Bernard. Horrible by me again. Good reading of the game to win possession back. Running with the ball confidently. Aubameyang will use a pest. Great card. I hate his uh, 
player of the month card to be honest it's uh, a nuisance player and that was a really good shot by Ben Yedder and a really good save by Marc-Andre and deciding to go short with this one Gary Medell doing the work there on uh, counter attacking very much an option always ready to break there as you can see as well not a good pass see if he can punish his mistake here oh he went for the header again he didn't need to do that <laughs> should have really put that one away you guys so he kind of lost the ball and it just bounced back to him there probably that strength and aggression combo Ah, oh, I thought that was in. It's unlucky. I think I think this uh, latest patch has really affected um, Dembele. I used to utilise his uh, finesse shots a lot on both feet. Obviously, being a five-star, five-star player, but um, it's much more difficult to do that now. He's just put on nine golden, and I'm going to assume it's the uh, red nine golden, and that was a horrible pass. They've given it away. Well played from Samida. I got lucky enough to get his red from the, uh, inside the final 30 minutes. first set of red rewards. Lucky me. And here's Alan Keane. And scope for them to produce something exciting. Great Tempe. pass. What an assist. Medell is doing everything today. That was a phenomenal assist. Great one to, uh, great, great rece uh, receiving the ball there and then look at the outlet pass. I didn't show you in the replay but it was a great outlet pass to Dembele who controlled it between two defenders there. Um, I have got a sniper chem style on him to boost that composure and it shows there. Um, but a uh, great, great assist there from Medell. That's to say that I've not boosted his passing. He does have 99 short passing anyway so he wouldn't need boosting but... Great card. He's oh, embarrassed himself there on the defensive end, but and a very good challenge. The he keeps the ball. I think having players with high aggression seems to really work in midfield. Um, all three of the players Mendes. that I've got there uh, have all got high aggression in uh, they have the ball again. Medell, Keane, and Alan. Dembele. Well, just couldn't keep the ball. Uh, Alan. Um, Semedo made a half-hearted run forward now and there's a little bit of space in behind and oh he's in the score and finishing well let's have a look at that replay as a defender or all the defenders in the box you've got to be a pessimist you've got to expect all right okay let's make sure we don't bottle this 2 0 lead um did happen to me a couple of times and we can be complacency just tend to get to me uh uh, Aubameyang is just robbed. Keen of the ball. Moving the ball oh, forward God. with purpose. Good defending there from Samir. Great cover. Keen. Oh, lucky pass and there. Tried to play. It. More my fault there. Trying to play a tough pass between two defenders. Mertens, Bernard, Mertens. Dutch's defender, oh, put it over. Sadly, too many things wrong about that effort. Well, some lucky there. Had the, the, the defender doing some ice skating, but quite unlucky, really to be honest. Him. Anyway, guys, whether we win or lose this game, I think this has been a good reflection on his Angolan. offensive skill set. As you can see, he has got the shooting and the passing. Um, if you are going to use him as a box to box, he will be able to aid you going forward. Uh, oh God. Playing it a bit risky here. Again, just do. He's just do. He's able to do what's necessary. You know, the the short passes that you expect him to make, he makes easily, and that was horrible from Roy Keane. Uh, but I was just trying to there just demonstrate his passing a little bit. Just listen to the crowd, Derek, urging their team on. Surely they'll get another chance. No. Oh. 
to Stegen saved me there. Stopped me from bottling it. Thank you to Stegen. I don't know if you guys saw a little snippet of Medal stamina there in the bottom left. He's about halfway. Which is slightly low, but it's, again, it's nothing to be concerned about in a rivals game where you know you've only got 90 minutes. It's still uh, definitely high enough. And again, just a fantastic pass. I know Alan's touch was a bit weird there, but... Just great passes for getting you out of trouble. Keeping the ball well as well. His, uh, his low dribbling doesn't really show in game, which is always nice. Just I think it's because of the high balance and the high uh, agility. Great pass. Uh, not so good pass from uh, Guys, this is a really good team we're playing against as well. Uh, I think it's fair to remember this guy's got a really strong midfield in Ndombele, Deli Ali and uh, Hans Sissoko. But uh, Medell sort of overshadowed him. I've not really noticed Ali in this game almost at all. I'm not sure where to stay him from there. He wasn't controlling him at all. And he swung to the right there. It's quite unexpected. But... No. Great challenge by Semedo. Oh, he's offside anyway. Uh, so that's going to be it for the game, I think. I hope. Yeah, that's it now. Adele finishes with the ball. Um, so that's it, guys, for the second game. We got two wins out of two there. Both uh, quite close. 3 2 in the first game, 2 1 in the second game. Um, but today was about you guys having a chance to see Gary Medell in action in a full game, analyse his impact, you know, see exactly how he how he gets involved, if he gets involved, and I think uh, you guys saw plenty of that today. Um, my verdict on him, I mean, in this game, he really, really fled as, a, as an offensive midfielder. Um, he got forward plenty, he created chances, and he scored goals, and he finished with an assist as well. Um, I mean, we can actually look at his other stats so uh, look at the number of passes that he played I know I was milking it a bit with him a little bit but you know 24 out of 24 dribbles completed one out of two tackles um, and you know just a really really good all-around performance in the first game as well he was great um, we'll see if we can watch a replay of his goal but yeah guys overall I'm really really happy with this performance you'll see his touch here just to create a bit of space and then lovely lovely finish uh, Obla uh, I don't know whose keeper was actually but whoever it was they're not getting anywhere near that shot um, I think it may have been Courtois um, and then if we can see his assist as well uh, it's a great pass between three, two or three players there Dembele controls it and finishes it um, you'll see his pass again here just gets him into position to be able to finish the ball. And great bit of play and great finish from Dembele. So guys, what's my verdict on this card? Um, I think he's very good, um, but he does have a couple of issues. So his shooting was phenomenal, as you saw. Um, in his finishing is not horrendous, but most keep most of the time the keeper will make it to his finesse shots around the sort of. Uh, um, 12 sort of yard mark um which is something to be wary of um his long shots were phenomenal you saw that shot effort you saw the efforts that i took i took a couple of shots in both games and he did score that screamer in the second game um and his passing's great as well all over the pitch he's a fantastic outlet midfielder he'll always find your attackers when you're looking to counter and he'll be able to play them passes in to get your players the ball um and it's just it's just incredible how good he is. It's it's incredible in terms of the offensive skill set as a box to box midfielder. He has everything you'd need. Um, at times he feels a little bit heavy. His touch wasn't always great because of the ball control and dribbling. But in terms of his movement and how he feels to play with when he's got the ball under control, he's really good because of that balance, because of that agility. Good reactions, good cool composure. You notice in game as well. Defensively, he was great. Got plenty of tackles in. Got plenty of interceptions. And his stamina lasted him the full 90 minutes. Maybe a little bit of a struggle for uh, extra time. But in terms of rivals and squad battles, he's always going to make it to the end of the game. And he's always got a little bit left over towards the end. So you can make them um, tackles and stuff towards the end. And still chase down the strikers. Overall, guys, I'll probably give him... 
at this stage of the game, about an eight and a half out of ten, maybe a nine out of ten. Um, I think at the moment there's not many better options to play that box to box centre mid role, especially in the Serie A. Outside of Allen, there's really not much other than Matuidi. Um, but yeah, guys, overall, I'm really, really happy with him. Uh, really happy. I think he's a fantastic player and something somebody you should definitely consider if he fits your team. If he doesn't fit, I'm sure there will be alternatives, but if he fits your team, he's definitely someone that I would consider, especially while his price is so low. Um, anyway, guys, that is going to be it for this video. Um, apparently, I completed an objective. I'm hoping it's um, one of the Politano ones. No, it's not. Uh, just a bit of XP. Which is always nice, but I didn't make any progress in seasons. Not far off 24. Um, anyway, guys, uh, that's going to be it. I've just seen these objectives now. Sorry about that. Uh, I've only just seen these objectives now. I've not really been trying to do the objectives, but hey, hey. Anyway, guys, um, thank you for watching today. Uh, really, really appreciate it. And. Um, I hope I catch you guys in the next review. It will probably be Roy Keane, but if you've got any suggestions, let me know below. Anyone that would fit into this team, anyone on the bench, just let me know and I will let you know if I can get that review done for you guys. But for now, I am out. Take care, guys, and I'll see you in the next one.